Well, you've finally saved up enough money and accrued plenty of vacation time to take your family to Hawaii. Disney's Aulani Resort is one of the best, if not the best, family resort on the island of Oahu. Now, how do you choose which room is going to work for your family? What things do you need for your family's comfort, and what can you do without? Today, we're going to talk all about your different room options at Aulani so you can make the best decision on which room to choose for your vacation. Hey everyone, this is Nancy from New Travel Escapes, and today we're going to be walking you through your different room options at Olani and what they have to offer. You want a room with the amenities to suit your family. You want a size that fits everyone without feeling too cramped. We know that people become much less pleasant to travel with if they are cramped and cranky. Do you want an awesome view or will you skip the view because you would really appreciate a second bathroom? We're going to walk you through all of that and more in today's video. Let's start off by answering some questions. This is how we figured out which rooms were best for us on our three generation family vacation. How you answer these questions will help you narrow down which is the best room for you. How many people will be sharing the room? Alani rooms start at four people per room in two beds and go up to 12. Do you need a full kitchen? Will a kitchenette do? Or will you be eating out for most of your meals? Are you going to be leaving the resort property for excursions often, or will you be enjoying the resort facilities most of the time? How much privacy do the people in your group need in order to continue to get along? This is particularly important if you're traveling with all adults. How important are the views to you? Do you want a view of the ocean, the pools, the mountains, the gardens, the parking lot? Or do you even care about the view? We can't forget about budget. Finally, do you have any concerns like acrophobia or claustrophobia or accessibility needs that dictate your room location? How you answer these questions will narrow down which rooms are best for your group when visiting Alani. The question we probably get asked the most about Alani rooms is, what is the difference between the regular resort rooms and the Disney Vacation Club villas? Well, that's a pretty easy one to answer, actually. The main difference is the kitchen facilities. The resort rooms have coffee makers and a mini fridge. The DVC Deluxe Studios have kitchenettes with microwaves, mini fridge, coffee maker, and a wet bar size sink. And the DVC one, two, and three bedroom villas have full kitchens and in-room laundry. Now there are a fair number of room options to choose from at Olani, but I don't want this video to be so long that you are bored. So we're going to show you some video and pictures of what the decor is like, as it's similar in pretty much all of the rooms. It is a Hawaiian themed decor with a splash of Mickey Mouse here and there. We also thought it might be helpful to show you some floor plans so you can get an idea of the rooms, their different sizes and their layouts. Lastly, we will point out some differences that might be a big deal when choosing your room, such as the difference between a two-bedroom villa and a two-bedroom lock-off villa. Let's start by talking about the views. The first thing you will need to decide is what you want your view to be like. At Elani, you have the option of a standard view that has a view of the conference center or parking area from your balcony. This is, in my opinion, the worst view, but if you aren't in your room a lot, it probably doesn't matter, and the money you'll save can be put towards your excursions. And speaking of excursions, if you're looking at visiting Kualoa Ranch, check out our video on the UTV tour because it was amazing. An island garden view has at least a partial view of the mountains and spa or resort landscaping. The island garden views that look out over the Halawai Lawn where the Kawa'a Luau is performed are really nice. We had the 14th floor overlooking the lawn, but I would guess that floors 7, 8, and 9 would have by far the best luau views. We did a whole video review of the Kawa'a Luau, so make sure you check that one out if you're interested in attending the Luau at Olani. A partial ocean view has just that, a partial view of the ocean, but not a full ocean view. To guarantee an ocean view, you need to choose an ocean view room category, which will have at the very least a partial ocean up to a full ocean view from your balcony. Usually, the higher the floor, the better the ocean view that you will have. 
The last option is the poolside garden view, which features views of the pools, courtyards, and resort water features. Some of these have an open garden gate from your balcony right out into the pool area. In my opinion, these are perfect for those traveling with very young children, so you don't need to navigate the elevators with strollers and your kiddos. But maybe you want to put the kids to bed and sit out on your 15th floor balcony and have some wine in the peace and quiet. I don't know, maybe lugging all your kids' stuff into the elevator is worth it then. It's up to you. Now that we've outlined the views from your balcony, let's look at how big a room you will need or want. Alani has the option of standard hotel rooms, deluxe studios, a one bedroom villa, a two bedroom villa, a two bedroom lock off villa, and a three bedroom grand villa. Alani also has a few suites, and for the most of us, the first three categories are the ones to consider, but these suites are the most expensive and the fanciest, so unless you are as rich as Croatius, they are probably not relevant, so we will stick to the first three categories. All of the rooms sleep at least four adults. Comfortably or not, well, that's a different question, but they will allow four adults in even the base rooms. The standard resort hotel rooms all feature one king, and a queen sleeper sofa or two queens. They also have a small fridge and a coffee maker. When you look at the deluxe studios, they have a queen bed rather than a king, as well as a queen sleeper sofa. They also feature a small kitchenette with a bar sink, a microwave, coffee maker, kettle, under counter fridge, and a maybe sometimes a toaster. If you have more than four people in your group, or you just want a little more space, then you have the option of booking a villa. Alani has one, two, and three bedroom villas. All of the villas have a full kitchen, in-room laundry. Again, you have your choice of view depending on how much you want to spend. There's a king in the master bedroom. There's a queen sleeper sofa, plus a sleeper chair, or a twin-size pull-down bunk in the living room. The other bedroom, or bedrooms, have two queens. A one bedroom villa sleeps five, a two bedroom sleeps nine, and a three bedroom sleeps 12. So as you can see, you're able to fit a lot of people comfortably into these room categories. Would I cram 12 adults into a three bedroom villa? Nope, probably not. That's just a bit too tight for all of us to get along for any length of time. But a multi-generational family group that includes a few munchkins in the mix, then I sure would. As we go through the virtual tours of the two and three bedroom villas, I want to talk to you about something that some people miss when booking a two bedroom. There is an important difference between a two bedroom villa and a two bedroom lock off villa, and that is an additional bathroom. This was important for our booking when traveling with six adults. The dedicated two bedroom villa has two full washrooms as well as a large powder room. The two bedroom lock off has two full washrooms, but rather than the powder room, they have an additional small kitchenette area along with the full kitchen. You can see from the floor plans that we showed you earlier that the two bedroom lock off is really a deluxe studio plus a one bedroom villa and they have a connecting door. We opted to make sure we had the third washroom rather than the additional kitchenette but that's just what worked best for us. The kitchenette might work better for others. Just so you know. One thing I wanted to mention is to do some quick calculations before booking to make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. For example, as I mentioned, this was a three generation family trip that we took with eight adults ranging in age from 80 to 20. We originally planned to book a three bedroom DVC villa, but when we actually did the math, it worked out cheaper in both the cash rate and using DVC points to book a two bedroom island garden view as well as a one bedroom ocean view. We were directly across the hall from each other, but this gave us a lot of space to spread out. I know this may not be for everyone, but it's just a reminder to do some quick math before you book 
to see what all of your top options will cost you. You may be surprised. I certainly was. The last thing that may be helpful to know about is the two towers at Aulani. There are over 800 rooms located within two towers. The Waianae Tower and the Iwa Tower. When you enter the lobby, the Waianae Tower is to your right and the Iwa Tower is to your left. The Waianae Tower puts you closer to the parking garage, so if you have some concerns about mobility, then this may be a factor for you. You are also closer to the Ulu Cafe to refill your refillable mug and pick up some grab-and-go snacks. You are also closer to the spa. On the downside, there are no great sunset views from your room in the Waianae Tower. You can walk down past the left side of the cove and see the sunset from there, and it is definitely spectacular. The Iwa Tower also has its pros and cons. The first being that the ocean views and sunset views are better from this side of the resort. If you have little kiddos, then the Iwa Tower is closer to Auntie's Beach House for childcare. However, a big con will be when the Atlantis Koalina Resort starts their construction next door to Alani. When this is done, your island garden view is not going to be so great anymore. As at every resort, your requests are never guaranteed, but it never hurts to send a quick email with requests if you have them. You may get lucky. I hope this video has been helpful in navigating the room options at Alani so you can decide which room is right for your stay. Check out all of our Alani and Oahu videos for more details on what the resort is like and some other things that you can do on the island. As always, we hope that the videos we make about our trips pay it forward and help you make the most of your vacation. Mahalo everyone and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe as it really helps us out and don't forget to click on notifications as we will be back at Alani in six months to update you on any changes that are happening as well as taking the time to answer your questions about the resort. See you again real soon.